How's it going, Lone Riders? Let's talk about the best light signature possible and the best setup for ox lighting for motorcycle adventure riding. Okay, if you're new here, we develop products uh, and then we post them on YouTube. Uh, we get a lot of feedback from you guys and then we build that basically into the product. Uh, we've done that here as well. A few weeks ago, we talked about, uh, we asked you actually what you wanted in a light signature, like how far off the road do you want to see? How far do you want to see? All these kind of conditions. We asked you, we got the results back and then we developed the light. So if you like that kind of stuff, uh, subscribe down below. Leave us a comment if you see anything in the video that we should know or you picked up your experiences on the road uh, and we can compile all that together and yeah, make more awesome products custom made to exactly what you need. So let's just jump into the computer. So a couple of weeks ago, we made a video and asked specifically what you wanted in the actual light signature. How far off the road, how far uh, in low beam, high beam, uh, spot, all this kind of stuff. We asked you guys what you wanted uh, and then we asked you to fill out a form and uh, we got a, quite a few results back got some um, just now it's today it's about 400 results from the French channel um, and also the international channel this channel um, and we talked about we are well, we asked uh, exactly what you wanted and we got a good number of responses not only on this form we actually uh, asked on a lot of forums and e per email and stuff like that so we crowdsourced all that information and we started from this point to design the perfect light also, we talked about uh, different types of light that you get with a, 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 a light, ox light. Um, so you could start with a spot beam, you have combination beam, uh, three 10 watt bulbs. You know, there's a floodlight, there's driving light, there's diffusion, and there's that close up, that close up light. So when you're yeah, doing tight turns um, in a location where there's lots of potholes or just holes in general, or you're off road riding. Um, so there's a lot of variations in that light, um, and we can control that, but we can't do it all in once. So we actually need several different kind of designs to achieve everything that we wanted because there's no point in having a light that's just for uh, too close, uh, it goes 10 meters, it lights everything up. We need kind of more of a versatile light that can do most things excellent. So the first one is um, uh, we split the light up into several sections. The first one is the spot and this is like a very high intensity beam that is designed for distance. And you use a kind of a reflector cap for that system. Uh, then you have a combination. The second one here is uh, a combination of everything together. So that means so close up riding, spot riding, uh, and then you got the long distance beam as well. Everything combined together into one system. That's the next uh, concept we de design around to meet your needs. Uh, and then we've got the high beam, which is when just the, the general high beam when you're driving. It gives you a good um, overview of where you're going. Uh, it also will blind your um, oncoming traffic. And then at the bottom, uh, diffusion. So we are looking to go wide on this one. So we want to see what's coming on the other side, um, on the sides of the roads. We want to see uh, as much as possible right out to our vision, uh, edges of our vision out the sides here. Um, so we want to light up that immediate space in front of us and also um, to the left and right of us driving. So that's the, the combination of, uh, that's what we had to do to achieve your requirements. Uh, we had to split the light up into several parts. Going back to the surveys, um, we've got two different, on the left side, you've got um, the French uh, channel um, and then we've got the international channel. Um, and so this this was the results from the mean, uh, the low beam. The low beam was essentially at 100 meters, 75% of people wanted 100 meters for the low beam. Uh, so that's just your general, general driving light. And that's quite a good, that's quite a good distance. Um, you probably want a bit more than that if you're traveling at higher speeds so you can stop faster and at 150 uh, meters um, most people uh, 95 92.1 percent people wanted that um, and on it was generally the same for the international so it's very similar in both the french and the international channels so our target was 150 meters um, and we got 150 meters from that and that's um the day-to-day -day general driving light. If you look into uh, what's out there now, most of these guys um, are producing lights that at low beam at about 100 meters. So we've got an extra 50 on there, okay? So that's really good. So you guys wanted that extra and we've given it to you. For the high beam, that's another story. Uh, so the medium, so there's a video, I didn't, I didn't change this, uh, translate this from French, 315 meters is the medium from uh, what the French uh, customers wanted or the French um, voters wanted. And also it's pretty much exactly the same for the um, international as well. So um, if we can, 
so what we did was we cut it up and said how like we can't ha make everybody happy but we can make we'll try and make as many people happy as possible um, and if we aim for 500 meters then we get um, like almost 90 percent of people are happy uh, so that's that was our target here and so our target was 500 meters uh, to get you guys like happy um, but we actually achieved uh, 560 meters so it's actually better than what you wanted so that's great and that's the spot signature here so um, these are the actual results from um, simulations these these images here these two images here these are our um, actual simulation the data that's coming back from all our testing and that's the high beam if you see up here um, it's the top area so that's like the clear area so we're going for cone we're going for a reflector we're going for distance so pretty happy with the, that results as well we got better than expected um, so beam width, so this is quite important for us, um, especially in the adventure rider um, community, uh, because we can generally ride at slower speeds to navigate around obstacles off-road. Um, you know, there's a lot of hazards on the road from animals to people to hot, just straight up holes um, that you can just get sunk into uh, and never return from. So it's important for us to have this kind of width uh, at a short distance so we can see what's coming from the left and right. Um, and be safe so the minimum like the mean was uh, 45 meters so um, that was essentially what everybody wanted but and it, the, the big difference on the international was um, 13 meters so that was the difference between the French and the um, the, the international uh, group here but if we went for 20 meters for the internationals um, uh, we would have satisfied 91 percent of people uh, and of 60 meters for the, for the French the French community um, so our target was 60 meters uh, and uh, we actually got 90 meters. So we've got an extra 30 meters, 15 meters on each side um, to make you guys happy. And that's amazing. I'm really happy with that. Um, and that's, if you look here on this um, diagram here, that's the bottom light here. And what we're going to do is um, do a vertical pattern here. So it really bends the light out left and right um, and really pushes that light wide. Um, and this is a, the actual... Um, rendering here that we have from our simulations so yeah this is the actual simulation um, image that we use uh, to justify this these results um, so it's a simulation and um, of course we're going to test that in real life to get the actual looms um, and show that as well because many companies actually don't show you the the actual looms they just show you the the estimated looms so on the side here you can actually see the graph of our testing from our simulation up to 90 meters pretty happy with that that's huge um that's that's actually really really big so um we're going to test that in real life and see what that effect has on everything um when you're riding as well um so this is really good for simulation uh, but in practicality maybe we need to tone that back a bit we don't know but uh, but we've at least we've satisfied the demand so a narrow beam is for that real long distance shot. We are using a new technique here um, and we're going to get our distance uh, through a specific lens inside a lens. It's a bit complicated, but um, really, really nice design. Um, and we're going to get it through a specific individual lens uh, and that's going to spot out as far as possible. So we are getting one lux at 100 and, uh, 480 meters and um, it's a really good light to see into the future basically you know see into the distance and see what's coming you know so you can idea and you can react fast enough so when we look at all the different modes together let's start from the top uh we're getting what like combined everything combined so that means that all lights are on we've got the 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 driving light we've got the high beam we've got the spot we've got the the area light we've got everything going we're getting one lux at um 780 meters so essentially what that means is you can read a book at 780 meters uh, with this light one and with a high beam you're getting a lux at uh, 560 meters um, so you can read a book at 560 meters on high beam here uh, away from the light of course uh, and then you've got one lux um, this is for the um, spot um, you've got one lux at uh, 480 meters uh, and then for the um, for the area lighting at 150 meters, you've got uh, one lux. So very very happy with those results. Um, if that means nothing to you yet, um, let me explain that because uh, you know it's all about learning here. Um, 
on um, all the terminology and making sure that we're positioning this product exactly where um, you guys want it. So let's look at the actual real life simulation of that. So the, sim the first one is the survey. This is what you wanted. And then um, this is the results from the survey, the average. The second image here is when will you be satisfied? Um, so that's the basically a replica of how you when you'll be satisfied that's what you that's your perfect light there the competition that's the competition here um, based off um, different data points um, and the bottom one here is our one so to put that in context that is a really nice result we are smashing your guys expectations and I'm, put, I'm putting a product to the market that is um, lifting it lifting the game up um, and also um, yeah which is good for everybody right it's good for you guys because you guys get better products yeah you get a better better result when you're driving you know um, this is life-saving stuff uh, definitely need ox lighting it's one of the things that I should have put on my bike uh, traveling the world uh, I didn't do it and I should have um, and I think this is one of the most important upgrades you can have for your bike so yeah that's it uh, leave us a comment down below what you think of those results um, we are developing actively developing this light and we should have a prototype pretty soon to show everybody um, it's taken a while uh, because products do take a while it's a quite a high risk thing you we invest a lot of money uh, into tooling and R&D and stuff like this it's not just so easy uh, just to pop, pop out a product uh, there's a lot of uh, risks involved so we do it properly um, but and also we get good results you know it took us a long time to figure out actually what you wanted um, and how to implement that too because we're doing something new here um, uh, so it's always hard there's always those questions uh, if what um, if we if we crank the power too much it's just going to burn out the LEDs and it's not going to have a long lifespan but if we do the lens design wrong it's going to completely um, and avoid the, the ride because it's going to clear back or blind everybody coming towards you there's a lot of a lot of uh, restrictions and constraints and things we have to think about when developing these products so that's why it takes so long but be rest assured we'll have a product soon to show you um, and we are also developing the top box just saw the first prototype coming off the production prototype the golden sample today um, so it's pretty cool so hopefully next week i'll have that video for you or the week after depends and um, we're doing some testing on that uh, like making sure that really sticks on the bike and how it opens, closed, waterproof, and all this, how the waterproof rating and stuff like this. It's all going through the process, um, but very, very shortly, we have a lot of new products to um, develop with you. So if you like that, do subscribe, uh, hit that like button, and uh, leave us a comment if you um, yeah want to know anything or you also have a comment about um, the development process. That's it. Take it easy. Have a great weekend. Bye.